Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in hundreds. We are now going to cover numbers up to 10,000. So let's begin with our first example. Suppose we've got this number 4,400 and the question is what number comes after 4,400 if we are counting in one hundreds. Now the same principles as before, the units and the tens, these will not change. We're adding one hundred, so whatever they are, they will not change. As for the hundreds, well, that will go up by one. The thousands, it really depends on what happens to the hundreds. We'll come on to that in a moment. So therefore, this number now becomes 4,500. So 4,400, 100 after that is 4,500. Okay, let's look at a second. I'm going to write it here just so that we can fit this in. We've now got 5,900. So counting in hundreds, what comes after 5,900? Now I'm sure most of you will be able to work this out. Don't forget, the units and the tens, they will not change. As for the hundreds, and let's label the hundreds, this goes up by 1. We're adding 100. If it goes up by 1, then this becomes 0. We have to carry 1 to make it the 10. 5 plus 1 is 6. Therefore, the answer is 6,000. So, 5,900, the number after that, if we are counting in, sorry, in hundreds, is 6,000. It's very simple. Okay, we're going to look at one more. So here we've got the set of numbers. The first one is 7,600. Now we're going to work through this quickly because, like I said, counting in hundreds is very simple. What number comes after 7,600? Zero, zero, do not change. The units and the tens don't change. The hundreds goes up by one. So therefore the answer is 7,700. 7,700. Now if we keep going, we'll just change colors for this. We can work out that the next one is quite simple. It's already been done, but we're just checking it. The hundreds goes up by one, so therefore it becomes 7,800. The one after that is 7,000. We change the hundreds, we add one to the hundreds. That becomes 7,000. No, <coughs> excuse me, 7,900. And lastly, what comes after that? Now have a think about this. What comes after that? The zero, zero, do not change. The hundreds, the nine, we add one. We're adding one, that becomes zero, and therefore we have to carry one. Seven plus one is eight. The number after 7,900 is 8,000. So the sequence reads 7,600, 7,700, 7,800, 7,900, and finally 8,000. Counting in hundreds is very simple.